All right, everybody. Welcome back to this Fallout New Vegas walkthrough. Let's get right into it. So we just... We kind of left an unsatisfying ending of this Great Khan's faction quest for the time being. It's unfinished. I'm sorry about that, but I... Like I said in the last part, I don't really want to... Oh, shush. I don't really want to carry on with this until I finish all the DLCs. Because I'll be in the area to talk to... Talk about, uh... Well, to talk to Caesar about Cottonwood... Oh, no. But talk to Caesar... Anyways, so I can talk to or find evidence about the great cons of how they're just gonna destroy them So we'll do that when we get to there anyways, so I might as well just wait Where And do, finish all these DLCs So for now, I'm just gonna drop some stuff in the presidential suite Got some weapons and then I'm gonna make my way over to prim real quick because I think there's uh, some guns I can get Some nephies get rid of that I don't know, I don't know how this DLC is going to work for bringing stuff with me. So for the most part, I'm just going to bring the ones that I have a lot of ammo for. Like, I'm not even going to bring that or the grenade launcher. I might keep the battle rifle with me just to have something that does way higher damage. We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna store Daniel's outfit. I didn't realize that it was damaged or broken already. I'm gonna keep the helmet. Do I have anything else I need to get rid of? I think that's it for now. So, I think that's... Yeah, what do I have inventory-wise? Good. Police pistol, riot shotgun, and I have one 308 weapon. High roller sweet. So let's go down to the casino. Casino Fast travel over to Prim. See here. Prim, where was you at? Right here. So, in the casino of... In Prim. Eventually, I need to do the... Uh, I'm going to spend some time off camera. As, long, as well as the Omeritas. I'm going to spend some time off camera. And visit every casino. And just... I'll probably try to level up a couple more times. And get, like, my luck. Because the e way easier way to do it is get the luck to, like, 8. So, I'm going to probably try to do that. Let me, do I have the repair for, scope for this? I don't think my repair is high enough. My electronics is. No. Uh, I don't have the parts. Did that work? Yet. Oh, way up there. Companion protocol begin. Nice. Ooh, multi tools. Oh, nice. So, can I do the recycle? Nice. So, Johnson Nash, you I'm taking you. You got that old robot up and running again? How's it working out for you? Um. Anything for sale? Things are pretty good with Myers watching over us. Brass knuckles. What's that DPS like? Oh. Not good. So they got 45 auto pistols now that I'm through the DLC. Did you have a service rifle? Don't really want that. I don't need any of this. So... I'm gonna quickly get through here so I can start that DLC. You so I believe it's in some kind of shootout at one of them casinos on the some people Which one was that? Okay. So in this Bison Steve, I believe there's a is it back here? Well, I have the lockpick for all of these, so I might as well just try to do it. I don't know where this leads, but we're gonna find out. Let's do all of them. I know in the store area, I believe, is where the the gun might be at. I'll take these, though. Nothing wrong with that. Stim pack, doctor's bag, yep. I like all that. Oh, blood pack. And a ment hat. Oh, 9mm pistol. Anything else? 
That's bubble gum. Okay, nothing in here. So I think back here where the store is is where I have to get right here. Let me turn on this light. There we go. I think this is it. Oh, pre-war money. I like that. Junkie Town vendor. Floor safe. I did not have the level for this when I came through the first time. Let's get the right spot here. Nope. A little bit more. Dang it. I don't even know what that option force lock is for. Because... I don't think that's good for anything. So lucky. Oh, it's a revolver. I thought it was a pistol for some reason. Or, it's still a pistol. But I thought it was a... Uh, like a... Shaped like a 45 auto. But, I'll take it. Mentat Psycho Saddle. Oh, nice. I'll take all of these. Bottle caps. I'll take anti-venom. Well, there. That's perfect. Let's see. Is it... Because the police pistol is a 357. So, which is better? 34, 69, 35, 106. Wow, even better. 34, 69, 106, 35. It's way better DPS, but... Just slightly better damage. That's good. Well, I can go... Oh, and it looks sick. Okay, well, I'll keep on to both of them for the time being. There's no point in going back to the strip. So let's quickly head down to... Mojave Drive-In. Nipton, yeah. That's a combat sound for him, I believe. Who are you shooting at? Oh, a freaking rad scorpion way over there. It scared the crap out of me. I thought that was about to be some real combat. And there's combat over here. What is this? What's going on over here? Did you see that? That crazy bitch just attacked me out of nowhere. Hey, uh... Tomas or Thomas? No, none at all. You're the dude that We've I was told to avoid since I picked in Novak, I believe. She's been friendly this whole time. We'd actually been flirting a little when she suddenly pulled a gun out and began yelling at me to hand my caps over. Um... Now that I think of it, though, she laughed when I threw her my money. I think what she really wanted was my Lucky Charm necklace. Yeah, every once in a while you can find a cap with a blue yep, star. Yep, yep, you were him. They're pretty Told to rare, avoid you. So I started collecting them. And once I had enough, I made a necklace out of them since I thought they were lucky. All sort of all sorts of nasty people are looking for caps like those. You'd be safer if you got rid of them. Really? I had no idea. And here I've been carrying them all this time, never knowing how dangerous they were. What do you think I should do with them? Bury them or something? I'll take them off your hands. They're all yours. I sincerely hope they work better for you than they did for me. Okay. You were definitely the dude I was told to avoid, so... I'm gonna turn my back on you. See if you just start shooting at me. You're coming towards me all of a sudden. I'm just gonna look at this body. So you got bottle caps... I speeched him into it, so is he gonna attack me? This day just can't get any worse. Oh, I guess he's not aggro on me, so just move on. I'm surprised he was the one, he was definitely the one I was told to avoid because he's a little psycho for uh, blue star caps. But if he doesn't want to fight, I'm not gonna fight him. Let's head our way over here. I don't know if I can bring Edie. But I wanted to get, I wanted to get Edie anyways. Eddie, well, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he's a companion I wanted anyways. Him and Rex, all the like tech ones are freaking awesome. I'll keep Veronica as a companion for when I do the Brotherhood of Steel. But for the most part, 
he's one of the main ones I want to keep. I'd like Boone, but I do have to go to Cottonwood Cove, and I can't do Cottonwood Cove if he's activate if he's with me, because they'll just start shooting everybody. Oh, I have to go to the midnight showing. Okay, let me make a save here, and I'll wait. I'll wait till midnight, so just give it twelve hours. Sorry for all the sniffling. I have a constant, like, cold, apparently. So now, 15 plus, I have that. Well, I can't even take I have any, anything I have with me. So, uh, be unable, unable to return to the Mojave until you solve the mysteries of the Big Empty. But I'll be able to return any time after completing it. Well, I'm gonna lose everything I have. Yep, return to Prim. Why? Well, I mean, if he's a companion now, he should return to the Vegas Strip. Old World Blues. In the years before the Great War, Big Mountain had been the home to the brightest minds of the 21st century. Scientists of vision were drawn to the facility to tackle the greatest technological challenges of the era. They sought to create a new world, fueled by technology for the benefit of all mankind. Sonic emitters, space-age alloys, DNA hybridization, force field particle research, autodoc advances in cranial, cardiac, and trauma surgery. The hopes and dreams of a century became realities in the electronic forges of Big Mountain. The nucleus of this research was the Dome, a huge stone facility that held the labs of every science known to man. It was a think tank where no problem could not be solved, where no question could not be answered. The Great War brought a new energy to Big Mountain and its scientists. Although sheltered from the front lines, the scientists waged their own war, fighting their battles at the atomic level. Equations and calculations marched endlessly across chalkboards and computer terminals toward one solution, winning the war. For years, the mines and computers of Big Mountain were a blaze of trajectories, weapon schematics, and nuclear theories. The problems began to outpace the solutions, first geometrically, then exponentially. As the war escalated, so did the questions. On the night of October 23rd, 2077, the scientists received an answer that put all their questions to rest. In the aftermath, Big Mountain's silent experiments went to sleep, their creators slowly dying in the new world that had been left behind. And the great stone in the middle of the Big Empty lay untouched, filled with countless technological wonders. Wonders that, in the end, had been answers to the wrong question. I have surgery scars all of a sudden. That's not a great look. Is there anything else around here? That's just a bench. Ooh. Foot locker. None of that's very useful to me. So, I did... 
I did in fact bring my guns with me. So, I don't know what that was talking about. I won't be able to bring anything with me. Oh, I meant to take all of those. Because it said I wouldn't be able to take stuff with me, and I assumed that was true. But maybe it just meant the companions. So, let me make a save here, because... I've had powder, power outages, and I don't want to lose any progress on a game. Ooh, nice. What is all this? Oh, cool. No way. So, you get... I'll take all these drained ones. Foot locker. Bottle caps, take those. Mad scientist scrubs. I like those. I have repair skills, so this is probably the good time. Oh, actually, the next level up I get, probably gonna have to put some more points into repair. So I got my science all the way up. I assume this is what a lot of this is gonna be about. So I have science 91, but my repair is at 61. So lockpick, science, speech is really high. As well as guns. So I need to get uh, repair and medicine and barter up. Well, let's see. This place looks awesome. Oh, you could probably grow plants. Is that more mentats? I like those. Except the potential addiction you get. Yeah, these all got personalities. I'll take those. So, Big Mountain or the Think Tank? I'm guessing we're going to the Think Tank. Oh, cool. So they've they made a neutral zone. You can't really attack them. I thought I heard the pacification field kick in. All right, shh. Nobody move. I'll handle this. Be warned, intruder. You are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain. The collective geniuses of... We... Why, Oppenheimer, which one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it you, Eight? Oh, Dr. O, was it? Likely story. O couldn't spark two neurons if they were in a lattice of biomed gel. What? Me? Breaking news, Klein. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. Eight is sound waves. That's his specialty. You always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's... Enough! Either of you do it again, it'll be the last time. Now... Now... Great. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? Okay. How are y'all speaking through that one voice did, box? Did it just say something? Anyone catch that? Boros, you work with animals. Translate. It's a lobotomite. Here, in the dome. Oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse. Now we've got lobotomites. Dalla, get the spray before it excretes all over everything. Lobotomite? Dr. Klein, if my hypothesis is correct... This lobotomite is the repository of the brain we sent the signal to. The skin envelope once containing it. If so, it's proof that there may indeed be something beyond the crater. Just look at it. The way it blinks. It's like a big, hairless teddy bear. I know what it is, Dollar. I want to know why it's down here. With its... its limbs all over everything. And are those penises I see wriggling on its feet? Disgusting. I believe those are toes, Dr. Klein. Little teddy bear toes. Penises are much larger than those tiny extremities. Yeah, not that I would know. I don't recall the human penis ever being that large. It depends on one's own frame of reference, Dr. O. Look at its little nose with its two orifices for ingesting oxygen. Noses? By the great static. These lobotomites confound me with their sheer number of useless extremities. 
<laughs> okay. Hold up one finger, point at self. Point at them, hold up five fingers. Now it's holding up an array of fully erect hand penises. If it tries to insert them, activate vivisectors. Dr. Clyde. Wait. I... I don't believe those gestures were random. Random at all. It's been following our conversation. The lobotomite understands us. Yeah, I already talked to you guys. I agree with Boris's histrionic findings. This little lobotomite is unusually attentive for something whose brain has been extracted. Hold on, what now? Nonsense! Lobotomites can't comprehend us! What does that mean, my brain has been extracted? Ace, have you been in the men's hats again? If we slow down our oral processor receptors to understand this excretion, we'll all be rendered ignorant. All of you, power down, shut up, and let me prove once and for all how wrong you all are. As usual, lobotomite, do you understand me? Can you speak? Yes, I'm guessing that crash satellite was yours. Those were words, weren't they? In the form of questions. It's asking me questions. Is this some kind of trick? Our efforts have turned against us. In plain God, we created a monster. Perhaps as we were ruthlessly lobotomizing it with our cutters, we filled the skin below with awareness. A teddy bear with new stuffing. Okay, you didn't Wait. create me. If what you're theorizing is this lobotomite understands us, can reason with us. Then this may be just the answer we've been looking for. At last, a chance to... Dr. Klein, a transmission from the Forbidden Zone, coming right at us. It can only be... If it isn't my old colleagues, the mighty think tank of Big Mountain. Big fools, all of you. It is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone. A zone that is, yes, forbidden to you! Even now, my deadly robo-scorpions swarm across Big Mountain with their pincers and pointy laser tails. Soon, all science will be mine! Even the technology sealed in the Big Mountain Research Centers cannot save you. So cower in your think tank. Wait for the end. That's all. Uh, goodbye. Mobius. Always the same broadcast. He's clearly mad, driven insane by his flawed and imprecise kindergarten-level research methodology. What are we going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever returned. Except Dr. Mobius, and the technologies that could save us. They are out of our reach. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. What? Ask the lobotomite for help? Aid, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, that it is clearly intelligent, perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. But what of its brain? We scooped that out. We don't even know where we left it. And for putting it back in, none of us have the knowledge. Yes, but it's still aware and responsive. Look at it. It's regarding us even now, with its big teddy bear eyes. If we ask it politely, and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably disposed to us. You removed my brain? We removed your brain, yes. So soft, barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. 
Rain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The coils of Nikola Tesla. I actually like that perk. Your head can no longer be crippled and is, re and is resistant to chem addiction and shock from bodily damage. Okay. Yeah, eight, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the, what, the, um, uh... The Tesla coils in its head! This is fortunate in many respects. If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why, you could access your aggression centers. Circumventing the pacification field, this is a no-no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. Reminds me of my days in American High. And Richie Marcus. That doesn't explain the laser surgeries on my chest and on my spine. Darla, was it necessary this time? I assume full responsibility. I take my duties in the prodding and excision of living, breathing tissue quite seriously. Although in truth, the Autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dala loves you. First was the heart. Oh, you cannot be poisoned, and filters in your artificial blood pump will regulate bleeding and healing, allowing all healing items to function at a higher level. Robots are now confused by you. And 50% le less likely to score a critical hit. I like that. Oh, wait. I mean, second was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. Torso can no longer be crippled, and your strength and damage threshold have been increased by one. Nice. That's also spine. helpful. Totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. You extracted my brain, but what do you mean, misplaced it? To be correct, you should say, the Autodoc took out your brain. It did all the heavy lifting. It has never worked so hard before. It was unusual. It worked so hard on your surgery. It destroyed his own memory. How odd. I bet your brain remembers what happened. Yeah, but I don't have access that to my brain. That auto-doc junk heap was one of Mobius' creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. After that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. If so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius. Flush. That is the sound of flushing. Thank you. By the Fisher of Rolando, enough of this biological surgery talk. Lobotomite, listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. We want you to stop him. Somehow. With science. You said something about needing technologies to stop Mobius. Yes. It is our only chance. A desperate plan that came to us after Mobius' first broadcast. Maybe, just maybe, if we reclaim these buried technologies, we can put an end to Mobius and the horrors spawning from the Forbidden Zone. What exactly is the plan? You're losing me in the generalities. I need specifics. The plan is very complicated. We are still calculating how it would work if it succeeded. That is our part of the plan. I'll help. 
What do you need me to do? Excellent. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. Agreed. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, uh, transmit the radio map waves to... Settle down, Eight. I would have gotten it in a second, all right? Eight transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um, they, well, move sometimes. Or get buried. Or blow up. Oh, love it up, nice. is correct. All we need are the schematics. This does not mean we do not want the cold hard technology, however. So do not give in to your biological tired laziness and decide you would sweat too much carrying them. You have a new spine. Use it. And even if you die in the act of reclamation, simply reaching them will auto-transmitify the schematics to us. That is still good. For us. If you don't tell me what I need to find, I can't help you, alright? The technologies are the X2 transmitter antenna array used to focus coherent thought at excessively high frequencies. The psychoanalytic cardiac dampening sneaky stealth suit. A suit like nothing this world has ever heard, seen, or could ever see. And AIDS sonic sound wave emitter projecto gun. Able to broadcast sound at lethal frequencies. It also gives a great bio gel massage. There. We have informed you of all we need. We estimate if you are focused, your time investment will be minimal uh, by our standards. If you work quickly, you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude from us. We do not bestow these old world gestures lightly. What if I take my time and explore the crater? What illogic is this? Keep your filthy penis-tipped feet out of our labs and secrets! Okay. There are things here no lobotomite was meant to see. Things that would astound and possibly terrify. Terrify! Yeah, we don't come into your lab and decant your solutions. Only the magnificence of our monitors allow for true comprehension of the wonders of Big Mountain. Shield your jellied eyes lest they burn from your skull. Then can you help me get this done as quickly as possible? Sounds like a lot of walking. Ah, that is correct. You must walk upon your many penised feet. Much slower than our advanced hovering robotical frames. The little teddy bear could always run right into the pylon perimeter on its thick, turgid feet, returning it to us quickly and rectly, edge rectly. That sounds suspiciously like I can't leave. The radar fence that surrounds the big mountain crater will prevent, uh, protect you from straying beyond the facility. The mighty radar fence protects us all. Get too close to the blinking posts and the proximity warning shall be your warning. You are too close. If you get near it, your vision will blur as the electrodes in your head shut off one by one. Click, click, click. Possible memory loss will occur, along with long-term nerve degradation. It is tied to not having a brain attached to your nervous system. But the nerve degradation is nothing to worry about. Such degradation would take many lifespans to become evident, and all biology dies. Such tiny inconveniences are less than the greater convenience and conveyance. You see, if rendered unconscious by the pylons, you will be returned to the sink, seemingly instantaneously, by your deadened perceptions. Uh, great. I don't want to hear any more about that. Oh. Uh, Dr. Klein? Dr. Klein? If I may intersect for a moment. What is it? The lobotomite is asking me things, oh, and I'm trying to ignore them. My processors can't ignore you both at the same time. 
Well, you know how we asked it to fetch the sonic emitter thing? Turns out we already have it. <laughs> what are the odds? What is this, a high school science fair? Get your act together. You're making us look like a collection of round earthers. You're always yelling. My receptors can't take it anymore. And neither can my feelings. I am yelling because you contaminated specimens can't keep your probes off the volume knob on my voice module! There's a weapon you can give me. <laughs> For the love of please stop fighting. It is truly the end of all intelligence when a lobotomite speaks more wisdom than you geniuses. So, if we have the sound wave, sonic projecto thing gun then what in heisenberg's name do we need from x8 anyone i believe we need a new frequency embedded into the gun it was designed to broadcast many sounds once charged we just don't know the frequency and it is lost in x8 just as x8 is forever lost to us the sadness of my high school days. The sadness of my youth. My youth lost. Oh, really, Boros? All you did in high school was call me Fink Tattletale and all the kids you hated. You little teacher's pet brown hound. Give the lobotomite the emitter. Does it have an audio effect frequency loaded? Oh, I don't think so. Wait. What is he doing? I think he's sonjaculating into the gun. Getting it warmed up. I don't like the sound of that word. Ding. Turkey's done. You give it to the lobotomite. I'm not touching that thing. Oh, I don't think so. I'll do it if you two are going to be ashamed of your own technological needs. Let me give it a little sonic sterilization first. Alright. All antibacterial fresh. Here, my little teddy bear. I have thoroughly removed all Robco Terminal code spew from the device. It is clean, shiny, and ready for your hands. <laughs> this sonic gun looks like an energy projectile. Got anything that spits lead? What did it say? Spits lead? What, like pencils? Oh, I think it wants a combustion pistol. A gun? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun! Guns kill! Leave big open holes in you that are like sores, but worse! Dr. Eight is correct. We already have given the teddy bear a lethal sonic death ray, filled with his sonic ejaculate and sterilized by my soft wing. Giving the teddy bear a gun would be the equivalent of following a glass of hemlock with an Abraxo chaser. Delicious and redundantly deadly. If we're going to bring the Socratic method into it, fine. Give the Lobato bear a combustion gun. Burroughs, don't you have something like that? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns? Wait, I said that already. Yes, I have the Cyberdog gun. With the little floppy metal ears and the curious nose sensor. Here. Fine. Done. That gun makes me uncomfortable anyway. Always worried it's going to hump my chassis. Anything else, lobotomite? What else do I have? Let's see. Gun 75. Um, this gun looks really hungry. I'd like to make sure it gets fed a lot of bullets. Fine. Moros, more ammo. The good stuff. Top shelf ammunition. Let's see. Hollow point? That's worthless, but tasty. Oh, and here's some JFP. As if bullets need jackets. The JFP might make it ill and poop a lot, but when you're hungry, you're hungry. Oh, it takes 357? Nice. Okay. 
Um, these have been sterilized too, right? The sonic emitter should be sterilized and more than enough for you to encircle your warm hands around, cradling it gently with your finger muscles. Careful where you're pointing that. That device wasn't always a weapon. It was more like a force field kind of thing. Once. Force fields prevent us from moving, forward or backward. They are irritating. The sonic emitter was specially designed to disable our own safety fields here in Big Mountain. When some of us lost our access passes, Dr. O. That only happened once. And I know you were behind stealth fielding my lab keys, Dalla. You formographer. Dr. O. You rewind that comment. Plenty of rewinding already going on in your filmography tapes. Surprise the things don't snap out of their cases with repeated observations. Wait, so this gun can... This gun you gave me can disable force fields? Yes. Maybe. Well, no. Not currently. Yeah, we lost that part of the schematics. Or Boros did. In one of his stupid labs. Or inside one of his stupid pets. It is lost. All questions lead to this conclusion. The blue fields within Big Mountain shall be fielded with force. Forever. Ah, uh, great. I don't want to hear any more about that. Fine, so, yes. Get these things for us. Do not attempt to comprehend their complicated schematics. That is for us to do. I'll go get these technological wonders and see how much damage I can do. Well, good. What are the token words spoken in this case? Uh, thank you? Uh, yes. Thank you. Wait, is it leaving? But, Dr. Klein, the lobotomite will need rest, recuperation, things like that. I volunteer my chambers so it might be stared at. My monitor radar slowly scanning its form to collect sensitive data. No! That would put it too close to us. It could press buttons, turn lights on and off, and worse, let other lobotomites in. We could give it Mobius' old room. This is where its brain got scooped out anyway. And plus, some of its parts are already there. Might be more comforting for it to hang out with its spine and heart. Home is where the heart is, after all. <laughs> See what I did there? Wet literal. I suppose. We'll have to move that couch out of there. Been putting that off too long. Eight says, let the lobotomite take the Sync Central Intelligence personality chip and reinstall it. That stuffy Mobius program Butler can walk the lobotomite, feed it, barter with it for us. It would also prevent it from going to Higgs Village and taking up residence there. With my teddy bears. And it would be nice to have it so close. Your logic combined with my desire to keep the think tank lobotomite free has swayed me. Here, I present the Sync Central Intelligence. Lobotomite, take this chip to the sink. Plug it in and make sure the chip is clean or it could skip. Then make whatever crude biologic demands you need of the sink. It will cater to most of your hormonal whims. I can trade with the sync intelligence? Then I'll need something to activate the function, that function, won't I? I cannot dispute your logic. Do we have objects to activate the chip's exchange routines? What, like, stuff? Things? Yes, things. I don't know. Might be some old Nuka-Cola or Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle caps lying around. It's not currency, per se. Still might be enough to trade the sink's trade routines. Mobius put that test line for caps in the code as a debug command, I think. I don't believe that was Mobius's reason. His wild speculation concerning post-Holocaust economic systems was quite extensive, and of high decibel. Enough! 
Surrender these so-called bottle caps, Nuka and Sunset alike. In their role as things, they will serve as adequate test subjects. All right, all right, here, cap away. Hope that stupid ship chokes on them. 250. Barter 50. This amount clearly represents a deficiency in the amount of caps needed. Again, your logic is unassailable in its simplistic need. Oh? Fine. It's not going to help. That ship will probably refuse them anyway, as stuck up as it is. Okay, I can't do any more. Yes, you may need to wiggle it in a bit, but don't force it. We can't recode them if you break it. There is no more we can do to aid you, and our patience levels are depleted. Now go. Rest in the sink if you must, but leave us to our research. Uh, if you're done, can we move again? My biogel's starting to crampagulate. Of course! Go man your science stations! Go! I am surrounded by children. Oh, leveled up. Perfect. So, I'm probably gonna do repair higher. What will that get me to? Add to that. Put a spare point into sneak, I guess. If I do intense training, I can level up my luck. But what do I have down here? I don't need that. I don't use vats all that much. I do like lessons learned, though. I can level up quicker, but I'm going to go with intense training. I want to keep leveling up luck. So, all of my quests are leading to... Got a bunch of them now. All my friends have switches. Install the sink. Uh, Central Intelligence Unit. Got to go to X8, X2, X8, X13. Okay. Let's go back to the... The sink. My little home away from home. Where do I install this at? Salutations and felicitations, sir. And a most jocund welcome to the sink. I am your electronic valet and household central processor. May I be of service, sir? Are you some kind of uh, artificial intelligence? Regrettably not, sir. All modules in this habitat are synthetic personalities atop a mundane operating system. There is no intelligence here, sir. You mean there are other personality modules here? Indeed, sir. Though if sir's aim is to activate them, I lament to inform, sir, that most have been offline for some years. If sir were to ask my opinion, I should venture that sir is better off without them. However, if sir is determined to inflict upon sir's self their dubious services, sir might locate backup personality disks elsewhere in the facility. So I can access their functions without loading the personality holotapes? Tragically, the core operating systems are also Okay, so I do need the personality, the personality tapes. tapes. sir. Once the tape is installed, sir may request I switch their dialectic interfaces off, and I shall oblige with great delectation. However, sir will still be required to locate and install a backup holotape to access their functionality. Why are there so many personality modules? As I am given to understand, sir, this facility was once the property of a Dr. Mobius. He crafted the personality modules as part of a collection of experiments on the subject of machine-human interface. As to the reason for the unusual choices of devices to receive the modules, I cannot say. Never mind, let me ask you something else. Indubitably, sir. What services do you provide? In addition to managing the personality matrices of the other household utilities, I can provide, sir, with direct access to the commissary. Any goods sir might require may be purchased through my shopkeep interface, whence tiny robots shall deliver them forthwith to this very domicile. Ooh, I need my equipment very repaired. Good, sir. How much does this cost? 11,000 to repair everything. So that cyber dog gun. I don't worry about that too much. Bear that. Oh, I should have brought the armor with me. I'll repair Joshua Graham's. 
I'll repair the helmets. Sonic emitter. Or repair... No, it wasn't 11,000, was it? 1,600. Why not? So, let me go to your store. I'd like to buy some things. What do you got for sale? You got another Sonic emitter revelation. Yes, yeah, Stimpaks? Yes, you do. 679. Oh, you have so much money. Okay, what do I got for sale? I don't want to sell the Riot. I'll sell your scrubs back to you. I'm going to keep an armor. But I might sell this helmet to you. I'll keep the first recon beret. What else do I got worthwhile? I could sell uh, some of this stuff. Dark Datura. What else do I got worth it? Stimpaks are worth a lot. I'm obviously not selling those. Really? Didn't mean to skip that. Yaogwai meat. Ooh, pre-war money. I forgot. I have that. Lunchbox. Nine of those. Okay, I'll take that money for now. So all of these, I, I don't have access to any of them. Take that. Let me loot around this place. Oh, purified water. I'll take those. Files for that. Don't have toolbox. Oh, a straight up sink. Wow. There's a lot of hollow tapes I need to find. That's a balcony door to Big Mountain. Don't want to go out there yet. Foot locker. What do you got? Metal armor. I'll go ahead and sell that. Let me put on Joshua Graham's armor. Toaster is also... Is also something. I looted in here already. Was on this side. Oh, this is oh a heart. Well, so I have the heart and my spine. So it's just my brain missing. You're nothing. Are you nothing? Yeah. Jukebox is also something. So I guess all the white spots on the ground are personalities. So auto dock. This is sink. This is biological research station. Sink. Regular sink. Let me sell, um... Might I be of service, sir? Let me sell that metal armor. Not worth a lot, but I'll take it. Okay, let me see this cyber dog gun. It's 357 Magnum. Oh, that's sick. How much is the damage like? Oh, DPS is good. Damage is, well, lower than lucky, but... I'll probably use it. Between both of them. And I can sell this 9mm pistol. Yeah, well, this has been the intro to Old World Blues. I think we're in... This is called Big Mountain. Yes, yeah, Big Mountain. So next time, we're going to carry off on... Probably... Ooh, world map. There we go. Which one's closer? Magneto Hydraulics Complex, X-22 Botanical Garden, 
Y17 is down there. X8, that's also a quest. Oh, so this is the quest for all the switches. So, I need X13, X8, X2. X8 here. X2. X13. Cool. I'm gonna... This is probably the big DLC where I'm gonna... I'm literally... I'm gonna explore every location. I wanted to get this, uh... This whole game out relatively quicker. Between... Below 30 parts, but... This is the DLC where I'm gonna explore everything. I'm gonna at least visit every location. Go inside. Because I have the main ones. Obviously, Y17, X8. X13, X2. This complex. And the Botanical Garden. But... I'm going to extend this series out for the Old World Blues DLC because the amount of tech I could probably find around here, I'm going to explore everything. Well, for now, we'll take off, probably go straight to, uh, well, X8, I don't know if I want to go there right yet. I'll probably go to over here because X13 and X2 are down there. I'll probably head straight down to X2 and just make a loop all the way around. So that's what we'll do. That's where we'll take off next time. I'll see you on the next part. Take care.